Or watching AFN and Dodds Europe High School Basketball Championships in association with U.S. AFRICOM. Partnership, peace, stability. v it will be done. Dodds Europe, teaching the children of America's military families. You're watching the American Forces Network Europe. We're bringing you live coverage of the Dodds European Basketball Championships. We're looking right now at a live shot of the uh, Dodds Girls Division Three Championship game. We've just started the second half, just gotten underway. Bomberg is rolling at the moment over Rhoda by a score of 18 to eight. Rhoda has possession of the ball as we speak. I'm Lon Blair, joined in the broadcast booth by Shamia Briscoe, outstanding collegiate player and a member of the AFN broadcast team. Shamia, let's go over the scoring from the first half. The lead scorer uh, for Bamberg was uh, Natisha Godby. That's right. She had uh, six points and a little bit of a surprise because we thought that we would see stronger guard play from Bomberg. She's coming out strong. It's her senior year, championship game. Got to go out tough. And then for Rhoda, also leading Rhoda uh, was one of their centers. And uh, with Kristen Banks. six points, uh, Kristen Banks had six points. Uh, also on the scoreboard for Bamberg uh, with uh, four points, Loline Tomukane had four points. Foul trouble, who's in, who's in foul trouble for both teams? We have, what, Garland, Bonnet, she has three fouls, and then Solis, Yesenia Solis has two fouls as well, and so does Garcia. Okay, so those are the foul trouble uh, that we have, but uh, we're looking like Bomber is going to cruise to a victory unless uh, Rhoda can make things happen. If you want to join our broadcast today with your comments, we would love to hear from you. Uh, you can send us your email uh, comments, or send a greeting. It's DoddsBB2012 at gmail.com. You can see it on your screen right there. DoddsBB2012 at gmail.com. Send us your comments. We heard from some Rota fans uh, earlier in the game, and uh, we would love to hear from you and uh, get your message on television. American Forces Network, we're broadcasting this live all across the world, everywhere where the Pentagon Channel is broadcasting you can catch this game live you can also join us online we're streaming the games live on afneurope.net our great pleasure and a pride to bring this game to you today actually we're looking at six games division one division two II, division three for boys and girls it's going to be a fantastic afternoon of basketball and at least just knocked down to her free throws well, there we go rhoda now suddenly playing much better they shot oh, it. shot a series of air balls from the free throw line in the first half. Obviously, they must have been tight, Shania. A little bit. They played a lot of games yesterday and all week, actually. So. And uh, now we're seeing the score. It's tightened up. <laughs> Rhoda has 10 points now. Bomberg is 18. So oh, uh, Bomberg leading 18 to 10. We're seeing this. They're trying to feed into the, into the high post. They had more success with that at the end of the first half. But the Bomberg defense... Uh, tightened up pretty good right there. See the Admirals are being a little timid as far no. as their offense goes. Nobody at, wants to shoot it. At one point it was 16 to two for Bomberg. Nice, you lit. Oh, oh. beautiful okay. shot. Okay, well we, we have a ball game right here now. A three point shot. Who was that that hit that? That was number 10 Jesse for Rhoda. A three point shot and suddenly it's a five point game. Oh, beautiful Down into look. the low post. That one needs to fall. It. Bamberg wants it today. Number two, Kiyama Lambert puts that one in. And now it's answer. Bomberg 20, Rhoda 13. They need to stop doing that path dangerous right cross, cross court dangerous. path. Yeah, try to force it into the high post there. Block, but Number Rhoda comes up with the loose ball. Yeah, she needs to front the defender down there. And there's not enough movement in the low post either. Good luck. Well, no sooner did I say that than they forced the ball into her. She got a good shot, but uh, could not put it in. That's Kristen Banks. She leads the Bomberg scores with six points. I think that comes with she age. Leads the a little afraid of the six context. Say, say again, Shamil? I think that's a, just her age. She's young, so I think she's afraid of the contact. She should have just took it up, got the foul, and won. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, at one point it was 16 to two. And uh, now we're looking at 20 to 13. So uh, Road has gone on an 11 to four run to make things, and there's another three point shot. That one almost brought rain, went off the rafters, raised the front of the rim, it wouldn't fall. But why not? Jesse Panis uh, hit her three pointer the last time down for it. I think it got why not try a little it again? Bit. Pardon me? I think he got tipped a little bit. Oh, yeah? Oh, good looking nice inside. feed inside. And cannot finish. Cannot hit the bunny shot all That's by herself pass. right in front of the rim. Oh, good hand. Godby makes a dangerous pass. It's picked off by Rhoda. Goes the length of the court. Cannot get the foul. Cannot get the uh, free throw. Cannot get the layup to fall. Ball goes out of bounds on Bamberg. Rhoda has the ball. Tied up, dual possession, looking at jump ball. Possession goes to Rhoda. Possession arrow in Rhoda's favor. Inbounding the ball is number 13, Yesenia Salas. Oh. Well, I think she should have put that up. She had the space all She's by herself at the foul balance, line. Yeah. Kick ball. Rota retains possession. They'll inbound from underneath their own basket. Running a pick. Wide play. open once again. Ah, can't get it to fall. Off the glass, that one would not fall. So he's doing a deep and uh, Bomberg now brings the ball back up court. And a D1 ball. Good look. Beautiful. Oh, it I pops out. He was robbed on that one. Yeah, Shania, we're seeing a lot of this. The uh, Bomberg in the last two possessions, they missed two very simple layups. Good board, nice follow Damn with the shot. The All right, Bomber, there we go. Jamila Lambert with that one. Said, okay, okay, I'll just ask a question. I won't even call him back. I'm not doing this next year. Now you appearance anyway, no? The ball goes out of bounds on Rhoda. Bomberg has possession. Regular season, only BFA. It's just a B, it's just with the B1 boy. And we're looking at uh, number 11, Tiana Bowen, bringing the ball up court. Oh, I don't know who she was passing it to on that one. Yeah, Godby just threw the ball away there. I mean, she's playing really well in the first half. And uh, here in the second, uh, in the second half, not much of a factor so far. Rhoda tried to put together a run, but um, it seems like their uh, their comeback there may have run out of gas. The 22 to 13 is the score. Bomberg's ahead. Well, Good hands. Sloppy with the ball handler on top of the key. Oh, Ouch. that's a big physical play. That's what we like to see basketball players. Natisha Godby goes up strong, blocks the shot. But uh, got some hand in the process, so there's a foul uh, going to the lines. Number 13, Yasinia Salas. And uh, wow. is that the third foul on Godby? That's the third foul on Godby, Shania. So She's got to be that careful. That could certainly be an issue. Don't want her to foul out her last game, so. And she makes it. Solace hits the first foul shot. And uh, the second one will fall for her. Godby comes down with the board, and she'll bring the ball up herself. Back oh. to Godby. She needs to get a handle on that ball. Driving to the line. <laughs> a bit of a wild shot. She got caught in the air. She was kind of lucky to get fouled there, to be honest, because she was stuck in the air with nowhere to go. She liked the little hook shot. Yeah, do you think she did that on purpose? I, I, I think she got stuck in the air. Oh. All right, well, Godby is uh, continuing her solid, solid play. She led all scores in the uh, first half with six points. Now she hits a uh, free throw here. She has seven points on the game. Second one won't fall. 
Good hustle. Bumberg comes Way to get up that board. Bomberg retains possession. It's Bomberg 23, Rota 14, D3 Girls Division Three Championship game. 2.40 left in the third quarter. Once again, follows her shot. Ooh, can't get the bucket. Though. Another offensive rebound for Bomberg. But they can't do anything with the ball. When they get that, they need to take it back well, out and set it this. up again. Oh! Coast to coast. That's number 23, Tyce Gartland Bonet. She got the offensive rebound, drove the length of the court, and put it in. It's 23-16 Bomberg. It's a seven-point lead now for the Bomberg Lady Barons. Rota won't go and away. There's a steal. A little bit sloppy with the ball, Bomberg. Came up with the layup and then came up with the big play right there. Good defense. Defense! 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 Are they staying in the, the same zone? What are they doing defensively Ooh. here, Rota? Oh. oh! It doesn't make any difference what it they're doing. It because uh, a number 11, Tiana Bowen, just absolutely used the defense Fired right up. there. She's coming out strong. She's a clutch player. She wouldn't show on this much heart in the other games. Drove across the lane, went to the hole strong. And won. Up See and if you can off make the it. glass and dropped it in. Ah, Bowen can't, can't get the foul shot to fall. But they came up with the steal. That's the Lady Barons bread and butter is their defense. And when we spoke with Coach Dwayne Gamble yesterday at Bomberg, he spoke effus effusively about the Tiana Bowen, and you can see why with that, ex that move, that last bucket, she showed her class. And they just handed and her the ball. Just now. See what it Bowen does? She's got one on two. Is she going to go the whole length of the court? She does. She puts it up. And gets, gets her own board rebound. And a foul. We're seeing Bomberg totally dominate the offensive uh, glass. And that's a key part of their lead. They're ahead by nine points now. It's 25 to 16. More foul trouble now uh, for Rhoda. With four fouls is Garcia for Rhoda. That's Kiana Garcia. She's a, a five foot four junior swing player from Washington, D.C. Kiana Garcia, number four. She's got to take a seat because she has four fouls, and they're going to miss her. She's one of their starters. Checking into the game, coming in for her is number three, Raven Compton, a five foot two junior guard from Abilene, Texas. Pushing the ball up the floor. Bowen can't get the foul shot to fall. We have an email here. This is from Olka Kanika. Hello, Olka. Shout out to all the admirals, says Olga. You all have been working really hard, and all of Rhoda is very proud of you. Congratulations on making it to be the champs. Well, uh, not quite there yet, Rhoda, uh, but uh, their hopes are still alive. That's from Olga K. If you want to send your email greeting to us, please do. Our email address is doddsbb2012 at gmail.com. You can see it on your screen right there. doddsbb2012 at gmail.com. Rhoda inbounding the ball up to the foul line, down the low post. The ball is loose, uh. and it rolls out of bounds. Pass it a little bit too low for their bigs. Yeah, I, this is one thing we've seen in uh, a lot of the D3 girls games. The, uh, they had a hard time, some of the big players, moving and catching the ball at the same time. And uh, we saw that right there. Rhoda again, standing back in defense and letting Bomberg just run at the basket. In that case, Lulene Toma, uh, Tomokane could not put the ball in. Uh, but uh, Bomber does retain possession. Tomo Kane with the ball. Oh, Deep nice. three from the oh, corner. Nothing but air. But again, what a surprise. Bomberg with the offensive board. Ball is off a Rota player. And Bomberg will inbound. Inbounding the pass is number 25, Jamila Lambert. Thought about pulling the trigger, pushed it back off to Bowen. And oh, Bowen. Ho, ho. she is a showstopper today. Bowen drops the three. Bowen has five points in the second half, Shamia, after having three in the first half, so she has eight to lead all scores. Oh, nice shot by number 42. And there we see Banks again. She had six points in the first half, and now Banks drops another one. She has eight points for Rhoda. 
Come up with the big steal right there. Yeah. Another email shout out. All of our uh, viewers in Rota are taking our, our offer to heart and sending us emails. Here's from Hug74, a shout out for KC Mason. Play hard and have fun. We love you, Ma and Pops oh. from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I'm gonna guess Ma and Pops are joining us on AFN Europe Talks. Net, we're streaming the games live on the internet. Ma and Pops in Virginia, thanks for being a part of our broadcast today. and. Uh, Good luck to KC Mason. Please keep those emails coming in. We're at uh, dodsbb 2012 at gmail.com. More foul trouble, and this is Natisha, God Natisha Godby now has four fouls, and uh, Baumberg might be between a rock and a hard place if they lose Godby. She is their best under, uh, their best big player, and she has four fouls now. Big board right there. Yeah. Talk there about Godby. Go. If they lose here, they got a whole quarter to play. We're down in the last uh, 23 seconds to play in the third quarter. Uh, but oh, they good luck. to lose her. Can she finish? And she does. There that was a beautiful go. play. That's what we love to see. Number 25, Jamila Lambert puts that in. And uh, the score is 30 for Bomberg, 18 for Rhoda. The last six seconds of the third quarter now being played. Another air ball. Bomberg comes up with a rock. And uh, that's how the third quarter is going to end. So after three quarters of play in the Division Three Girls Championship game, we have the score Bomber 30 and Rhoda 18. What do you think of the game so far, Shamia? Very exciting. Now, yesterday we saw these two teams uh, combined for uh, was 31 to 14 was the final, and already uh, we see Bomber has 30 points with a whole quarter to play. So offensively, it looks like things are really clicking for Bomberg today. Coach DeWayne from the Lady Barons told me he was coming out strong on the defense, and he, he was right. He promised it, and they're delivering. All right, one quarter to play. You're down by 12 points. If you're Coach Edwin Demerit for the Rota Lady Admirals, Shania, what do you do? What are you telling your team? I'm going to come out in a press. I'm going to get all over the ball, and I'm going to try to get as many steals as I can, get easy buckets. Now, would you go to a man-to-man -man full court press I or would. zone? I would. I go man-to-man. -man. Mm -hmm. would, would you guard the inbounds passer? Or I, you, you know what? I'd even let play. it come in because it doesn't matter. If I'm covering everybody else, they only have a few seconds to get the ball in, so I got it anyway. So so you're not going to guard the inbounds player? I'm not. Okay. Now, on the other side of the, of the nickel, if you're the Bomberg Lady Barons coach, Dwayne Gamble, you have a 12-point lead. What are you telling your team? Keep doing what I'm doing because it's working. <laughs> well, there's some simple expert analysis there. <laughs> from uh, Shamia Briscoe. Nice. You can't argue with that. A good look inside. They weren't ready the, for it though. Yeah, the Bomber player wasn't looking. She was going for the offensive uh, rebound. That was a bit sloppy. She didn't need to stick her hand in there. Fouls against uh, number 21 for Bomberg, Devigny McNeil. And uh, I guess that's a bit of a trouble, a bit of a problem already, isn't it? Bomberg has 18 fouls against them, so that means every time Rhoda gets fouled now, they're going to go to the line. And that could be a factor. But if you, it's not a factor if you can't hit and the free throws. Exactly. I mean, there's one thing, there's a couple things they got to do if they're going to get back in the game. One is to hit free nice. throws. Oh, she missed it. It'd be oh. a completely different ball game if the Admirals were making their free throws. Yep. We saw Natisha Godby had a good look from the foul line, but uh, couldn't get that one to fall. Oh, and but, uh, <laughs> having no trouble. Tiana, Tiana Bowen, Bowen Tiana Bowen gets that one to fall. A nice little she baseline floater. She said, "Stop me." Floater. She's gonna keep coming until you stop her. Bowen had three points in the first half. Uh, eight points after the third quarter. Now she has ten points. Bowen has ten points, and she leads all scores. Relatively quiet first half. She. Shamia, but uh, she's putting it together here. Nice speed oh. underneath, all by herself. The ball will not fall. Will not fall from point blank range. How frustrating is that? That's so frustrating that the Rota player knocked the ball away. <laughs> Missed two layups from point blank range. The Rota player got upset. 
lob it in to the, into the paint. He's got to get out. Is that a Could walk? Could be three seconds? No? What is that? Uh, that looked like a walk to me. Some of the Rota players have a similar opinion, but the referee saw things differently. No, he didn't. He called a walk as well. Throw the ball. Oh, nice crossover right the there. Steal. Oh, there you go. okay. Here well, we I'll go. tell you what, uh, that when every time that Rhoda has needed a spark, they've gotten it from number 10, Jesse Panis. She hit a big three and a couple of other shots, and uh, she Almost nailed a, the a baseline jumper right there. Good now, luck. All by herself. We've seen this over they, and over again. They need to stop her. They need to stop Bowen. Number 21, Devaney McNeil puts in a, uh, a layup. It seems like what happens is Bamberg is bringing the ball up court. So Rhoda, Rhoda is mesmerized by the ball player, and uh, the backside of the defense is totally exposed. Number 42 for the Rota Lady Admirals, Kristen Banks going to the line. She's coming with some big plays today. She's been a consistent player on offense for them. Had six points in the first half. Cannot hit the free throw. The Admirals need to make those free throws. Yeah, they're, the on, they're on the wrong end of a 34 to 20 score. They're behind by 14 points in the fourth quarter of the championship game. And they can't hit their free throws. But they are still scrambling. They're playing with a lot of heart. These athletes have spent all season long training and practicing and traveling going to games. And now it all comes down to this. This shot from Bomberg. Rhoda comes up with the rebound. Oh, good luck. Long cross court. She has pass. to be ready to shoot that. But well, that was I a think nice she might have gotten away from her walk. I, I think number 20 dragged her pivot foot, but the referee didn't see that. Number 20 for Rhoda. That's Ty's Gartland Bonet drops one in there. And uh, the score is Bomberg 34, Rhoda. 22 with five minutes and 31 seconds left to play. We have timeout on the court. Is it a done deal, Shamia? Is this game over? You know, I want to say it's never over to the fat lady sings, right? <laughs> Big things can still happen. 12 points, five and a half minutes, a 12 point deficit, 12, uh, five and a half minutes to play. It uh, looks like uh, a few good three pointers in the game well it's certainly possible and if they need some turnovers they could if they could create some turnovers with the full court press and uh, hit a couple of threes they could certainly get back into the game very quickly <laughs> official stopping play to uh, wipe up a wet spot in front of the Rota bench Slow things down, keep everybody safe. Now we have another delay. Because the referees aren't happy with the housekeeping. And uh, now they're making the coach mop up that mess. <laughs> Somewhere on the bench, one of the players is laughing. Okay, now we have an inbounds. Uh, Bomberg's bringing the ball up court. But they're going to the full court press, Shamia, just like you said. Bomberg breaks it. They get the ball across court. They need to step it up on defense. You know that's what the coach was telling them in that, uh, in that timeout, was to step it up on D. Oh, nice hands. He almost got that hands. one. Ball came loose, but uh, Bomberg comes up with the loose ball. That's a problem with D. Everybody on your team has to play aggressively or it won't work. Got to get up in the face. And uh, kick, ball goes out of bounds, and Bomberg retains possession. 
Inbounding the ball is Lolene Tomokane. Godby has the ball. She just threw that one oh up. Oh, yeah, she got stuck there. Oh, I almost lost it right there. Shots uh, up and up nothing short. but air right there. Rhoda can't get back in the game if they're uh, shooting air balls and missing free throws. Well, that one hit the rim, but it wouldn't fall. They've had a lot of good looks. They just can't convert. Bomberg's going to go the full length of the court. It's two on one, a little game here between the guards. Uh, me. The last pass won't work. And uh, point guard number 11, Tiana Bowen, wisely brings the ball out front. Reset the defense. Time is on your side. The clock is your friend. Why not? Slow the game down. Make Rhoda come to you. Bowen working the ball, drives the lane. There's she just too fast. a blocking, blocking foul. Yeah, she seems like she has an extra gear that the other players for Rhoda just don't have, Shania. Like she's toying with him a little bit. Uh, one of the Rhoda players is hurt. Uh, she fell awkwardly. I think she landed on her elbow. Got a bit of a stinger. It's Kiana Garcia. Yeah, num yeah, number four. Kiana Garcia is a five foot four junior swing player from Washington, D.C. And uh, Natasha Godby, if we understand correctly, has fouled out of the game. Number 32 for the Barons. And Natasha Godby is out of the game. And uh, that's a big deal. She had t uh, 13 points. The lead score for the game is out of the game. Seven points. Thank you for the correction. Adam Shaw, our statistician, keeping you straight. Oh, just driving all Little day. Bowen just Can't owned stop her. her. Bowen just owned her right there. Gave she's her showing a what she's made of. <laughs> dropped her shoulder to the left, faked, drove to the right, drove to the hole with tremendous authority. She's and just uh, a sophomore. Makes you think what she's going to be like when she's a senior. Well, certainly has potential to develop. Getting sloppy now with the ball handling there. And uh, that ball won't fall for Rhoda. Bamberg comes up with the loose ball yet again. You see uh, Vanessa Sanders back in the game for Bomberg, number 23. Sat out most of the third quarter. Uh, she had an injured uh, right foot. I think she was in uh, a little bit of foul trouble too, right? She had three fouls. Yes, she did. That's correct. <laughs> and well, again. why not? Why not? Going I was again. thinking maybe they should go into four corners just to slow the thing down. <laughs> but uh, uh, why not? That's Bowen just lighting everything up here. And uh, let me check with our statistician. How many points does Bowen have? 14 points. 14 points, Bowen. She has six points here in the first fourth quarter. Did you say Bowen's the MVP, Shamia? <laughs> I what do think, you think so. Would, I mean, I would, think would, so. She be, would she be the most valuable player of, the, of, the, of, of this game? I would. She handles the ball really well, and she's coming up with some big points. So. Yeah, 14 points. I think she's played well on defense. She's had some steals. Yeah, we see number uh, 23, Vanessa Sanders, has to take a seat again there for Bomberg. I, I think her foot is just bad, and uh, she can't play. We saw at the end of the uh, pool play yesterday. She was limping badly after the game, and uh, she just doesn't look, look like herself today. Coach Dwayne Gamble told us yesterday that uh, her foot was hurting and bothering her. It's 38 to 22. Bomberg leads Rhoda in the Division Three Girls Championship game. There's 2:24 left in the fourth quarter, and going to the line right now for the Lady Admirals is number four, Kiana Garcia. She's a junior swing player out of Washington. Kiana can't not get the first free throw to fall. 16-point lead with 224 to play. It's looking more and more like Bomberg will have their name engraved upon the D3 Girls Championship trophy. It's funny because Coach There's Dwayne Bowen. said, Ooh. She's really good. She sees the whole court, push the ball forward to her player. Okay, couldn't make anything happen with it, but a fine pass. Back it up. That's what the coach is saying. Dwayne Gamble. 
Oh, telling nice his team, hands. back it up. And she made it. That was beautiful. Jesse Panis, yet again. She's been uh, the only bright spot offensively for Rhoda here in the second half. Panis has uh, seven points. She has four of them in the fourth quarter. As a matter of fact, all seven of Panis' points have come in the second half. Rhoda comes down with the rebound, pushes it forward. Panis with the ball yet again. Cannot get the bank shot to fall. Bowen coming back the other way now. And what is she going to do? It's two on one. She's going to take the rock and go to the hole, but it will not fall. Offensive rebound, Bamberg. That won't fall, but Bamberg retains possession. Oh, that was a dangerous pass. No sense to do that. The Athens need to box out. All the loose balls are going Bamberg's way. Panis is hurt. And at the top of the key, she looks like she's okay. The referee stopped play momentarily. She was laying on the floor. But um, All right, bro, I'll, give a, I'll give you a call when I get back. And we have one more timeout now. There's one minute and 10 seconds left to play in the girls' Division Three Dodge European High School Championship game. So the Bomberg Lady Barons are leading Rota 38 to 24. Shamia, what do you think? What's your what's your assessment of the game? I think it's really funny because yesterday Dwayne Gamble, the coach from the Bamberg Lady Barons, was saying how he was just happy to be here. And now he might be coming away with a championship. Right. Uh, th yeah, th they were, uh, he, he told us something. They were 3-14 and 14 during the regular season. They played a lot of the D1 and D2 mm -hmm. schools. And he said that was okay because it just got them ready for this tournament. And he was right. And 3-14 and 14 during the regular season. And now they're going to be the Division Three girls champions. Uh, that's quite amazing. That's quite an achievement. And that shows you this is the old adage. You know, if you get hot at the right time in any athletics, uh, in, in any sport, if your team gets hot at the right time, uh, you can end up being a champion. You see it every year during the March Madness, the NCAA championship games. You see it uh, this year, certainly with the NFL. The, uh, the New York Giants got hot at the end of the season and rode that all the way to a Super Bowl victory. And we're seeing it here today with the Bomberg Lady Barons. They went on a roll. They went on a roll, and it looks like they're going to end up being the uh, D3 Ladies Champions. We'll have an interview with uh, the winning coach, whoever it is, and it looks like it's probably going to be uh, Coach Dwayne Gamble coming at the end of the game. So uh, even after uh, the final buzzer blows, please uh, stay with us. We'll, we'll hear from the winning coach. He said he would give us a little jig if they won, so we'll see if he... <laughs> you need to go down there and, and, and hold him to his word. Yeah, there's a backcourt violation. Yeah, a little bit of pressure there from Rhoda. Number 24, Lolene Tumacane threw the ball away. But uh, it doesn't make any difference. There's one on one to play. And Bomberg has a 14 point lead. It's all just window dressing at the moment, Shania. It's a good little drive right there. Well, that's too little too late. They needed more of that earlier in the game. Rhoda was so timid offensively through all the key phases of the game. Besides that one little spurt at the end of the first half where they uh, put together a, a six-point run, but they couldn't sustain it through the third quarter and the fourth quarter. Bomberg tightened the screws defensively. And then, of course, Tiana Bowen lit it up here in the second half. And uh, Bomberg is now cruising to a 38-26 victory. Oh, There's nice a three shot. Pointer. Panis has been the bright spot for Rhoda here in the second half. Panis drops another three. She has 11 points for Rhoda. 15, 13 seconds left jump now. Ball. Got jump ball call. And possession arrow goes to Rhoda. Getting a little sloppy here Five seconds as the left. Uh, final seconds of the game tick down. Stay tuned to AFN Europe for more continuing coverage of the Dodge European Basketball Championships. 
The next game up will be the D3 Boys Championship. It's going to be Rhoda versus Bamberg. And uh, we saw some of these teams play yesterday in the full play. You can see the uh, Rhoda Admirals are now coming on the court. They have a player, number 24, a guy named Owens, who um, might be the class of the tournament. Yeah, he is a beast. He's going to UCR, and he's yeah. amazing to watch. University of California, Riverside. He's a six-foot-six senior. Uh, had a couple of dunks yesterday in the All game that the we place. were watching. <laughs> Has a, uh, a fantastic three-point shot. You'll see him next. That's the D3 game, Bamberg versus Rhoda, the boys game. As our co continuing coverage of the Dodge European High School Basketball Championship continues. Nice We're looking at the crossover. final seconds here of the girls' D3 game. And that's it. The fat lady has officially <laughs> sung here at the Wiesbaden Army Airfield Physical Fitness Center. The joy for the Bomberg Barons, the sorrow for the Rhoda Admirals. Only one team can win, and in this case, it's Bomberg. Congratulations to Bomberg, the Division III Girls 2012 Basketball Championships. And uh, we have specialist Charles Probe standing by with the winning coach. Let's go down to the court right now. Charles, what do you have for us? Here with the uh, coach, uh, Dwayne Gamble of the Barons, and uh, tell me how you think your girls did today. I think we did pretty excellent. Uh, we started out a little sluggish. We wasn't executing like we were supposed to on offense. But our defense made an uh, outstanding performance out here uh, to change the game around, keep the momentum going. Okay, and I heard from one of our correspondents upstairs that you would do the Dougie if you won. I'd do the Dougie. Do you want to give us a little free? <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to you guys. I'm doing the Dougie too. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how you do that. But uh, there we have Specialist Charles Probst with the victorious coach Dwayne Gamble for the uh, Bamberg Lady Barons. And why shouldn't he be doing the bug, uh, the, 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 uh, the Dougie? Well, uh, keep it locked in here to AFN Europe. We'll have more coverage of uh, basketball. The D3 boys game is coming up again. That's Rhoda versus Bomberg. We'll be back. Uh, Shami and I will be back with the D2 girls game a little bit later in the game. Keep it locked in right here. If you're watching American Forces Network Europe, we're serving America's best. You're watching AFN and Dodge Europe High School Basketball Championships in association with U.S. AFRICOM. Partnership, peace, stability. v -Corps, it will be done. Dodds Europe, teaching the children of America's military families.